Hello guys, welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be taking a look at the compatibility between the Mac and the new operating system vis-a-vis -vis the MPC bits and your Akai MPC devices. Let's go. So what I've always done was to register my account, that is my Apple ID as a beta tester, which means anytime there's a new software that is about to come up anytime soon, I happen to be um, part of the first few who can actually test ahead of time and see all the features, you know, the, the good side and the bad side, and then basically be able to review and drop comments, feedbacks, basically, for the, uh, you know, Apple developers so that they can check it out before it finally rolls out and becomes available to everybody. So while at it, I tried to install the new operating system that is supposed to come out anytime soon, that is the Mac OS Sonoma. And when I did, I was like, the first thing I need to know is, let me even quickly go and open all of my, you know, uh, music production software. The first thing I did was try to open the Mac, sorry, the MPC bit. And to my great amazement, everything works out fine. Everything worked fine. There was no issue. I even did an upgrade of the, you know, MPC bit. No issue, everything works fine. Connected the archive device to it and it worked fine. Then I did the same thing even with the machine studio, you know, launched the machine and everything works fine, complete, everything works fine. So I'm just saying, my device is actually an M1. So <laughs> uh, I don't know which device you're using. That is for those who are using Apple devices anyways. I use an M1 and I can tell you categorically that this works fine. So you might not have any problem or any worries if you are trying to upgrade, you know, your device to the new operating system when it's finally or totally re released and you'll be able to actually work as you would or as you've been doing before now. What you might just take into consideration is any other software that you might have on your device that might not be compatible with the new operating system. Always put that into consideration. Because as a software developer, I have also, I think, some local host um, application I use on my device to simulate my job when I'm working offline. I realized that one of them wasn't working fine. So what I had to do was quickly go into the application and then uninstall it and reinstall it and everything worked fine afterwards. Hence, the decision is still you know, in your own hands as to which of the operating system you want to use or the one you want to probably upgrade. Everything is, the decision is in your hands. But what I'm just trying to let you know is I've tested it with Sonoma and everything works fine. You might want to do the same. You have the power to roll back if anything should break. Uh, don't forget, I'm still the one that always try to advise you. If it doesn't break, you don't need to fix it. But if you want to keep up with the trend and you feel where there are some features in the new operating system that you've read about or you've seen and you would like to be a part of that system, that ecosystem, then why not? Let's go ahead, do your updates, do your upgrade and you will be able to actually continue working seamlessly. That'll be all for now. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next one.